हे गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल एंड वेलकम टू टुडेस वीडियो थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वाचिंग सो टुडेस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी अ वीडियो ऑन न्यूट्रल आई शेडो पैलेट्स आई ओन आई हैव क्वाइट अ फ्यू ऑफ देम एंड आई थॉट लेट मी शो यू व्हिच आर द न्यूट्रल आई शेडो पैलेट्स आई ओन which are my favorites and which i don't really recommend although there are not many which are there which i will not recommend so it's sort of like a collection come a uh, ranking video so i hope you guys find this helpful without much further ado let's quickly get started with today's video this eye look which i have on today i think this is the fourth or the fifth day this week i have worn this eye look i am in love with this eye look it's such a simple easy to do i look and i will show you the palette with which i have done this so let's get started i think i have uh, how many palettes do i have here i think i have about 12 or 13 neutral eyeshadow palettes most of them are small size or mini palettes and the rest of all i think i have decluttered over the years i don't have too many neutral ones so i think let's get started with the mini ones first the mini eyeshadow palettes i would say are the ones which have less than 10 shades uh, so let's i think let's uh, check out those first then we will go on to the bigger eyeshadow palettes which are frankly not many i don't really have a ton of big uh, neutral eyeshadow palettes okay the first palette from my collection which i will not really recommend so i am ranking it lower this is from the tops by juvius place so juvius place had launched a series of mini eyeshadow palettes i think 2 years back and i purchased all of them i have purchased all of them i never made a video about that uh, purchase so yeah maybe i will do it i have all of the palettes i really like the collection so this is the top one and this is uh, this one and there is another one nudes one which i don't really feel will suit my skin tone the shades are quite light uh for my skin tone the shimmer shades are fine the, this gray and there are two metallic shades uh topi metallic shades which are quite fine uh, i think now you can see it better so this is the tone of the eye shadows but i don't know it's just a little too light especially these mattes they are quite light they look very ashy the shimmers i am able to use but if you are close to my skin tone i will definitely not recommend this palette so i have this in my collection but i will not recommend if you want a topi eye shadow palette my favorite is the next one this one i will highly recommend and i think this one is still available on the colorpops website this is that's top palette okay this is how it looks i love the packaging of this one and this one also i got when it launched and i have used this one quite a lot especially when i have gone anywhere i have always carried this this has a nice range of colors so you have the lighter colors as well as some deeper tones like these and these two shades there are some deeper tones and also in the metallic texture you will get some deeper variety so that's great the tones of the metallic shades are quite similar to the one which is in here but i still find that this one works better on my skin tone especially because of the two deeper tones so definitely if you are close to my skin tone you want a topi uh, eye shadow palette check out this one from colourpop that's top it's a very nice uh, eye shadow palette i love topi eye shadows so i will definitely recommend that one okay after those two topi eye shadow palettes next i think are all more or less very neutral palettes and i love all of them uh, the next one which i'm going to show you is again from juvius place like i mentioned i have bought all of the mini eye shadow palettes and this is the chocolates by juvius and this uh, color tone is really really beautiful very dark deep chocolatey tones i have created this eye look with this palette as well and whenever i touch this palette i create this eye look and i just love it i have used this shade right here which is also like a taupey kind of a vibe really beautiful deep deep mattes in here uh all of the mattes they work beautifully on my skin tone very deep shades in here a deep shimmer here as well this also looks very nice all in one this is a great mini palette great towel palette if you want to create a quick eye look like this you can get this one i will highly highly recommend quality is very good blendability is very good so this also i have in my collection the chocolates by juvius okay next i have two palettes which i think i will rank pretty much on the same standards uh, one is by viziard this is the petite pro 
the first Viziat uh, Petit Pro and this is still available by the way if you want to get it it's from their permanent range I have traveled with this so so much love the packaging on this Viziat palettes if you hasn't haven't seen this before it opens like this and I forgot how you can place it on the table but anyways it's sort of like an easel and these are the shades in this palette really beautiful uh, neutral tones along with the neutral tones there are some very nice burgundy and coppery tones there is one taupey shade here as well a very lighter one and this is a perfect size for travel uh, I love it for traveling it has deep shades it has a range of neutral shades absolutely amazing i really like it so this one i will definitely rec recommend and i have it uh, since a long time and still it's going going good the next one i think uh, which i will pair or like put it in the same rank as the previous one the vizayat one is this one from huda beauty this is the uh, smoky obsessions i don't think you can get this anymore uh, if i'm not wrong i don't think you can get it it's one of the best neutral palettes out there especially from Huda Beauty in this size with this variety of colors one of the best neutral palettes out there I really really love it there is no point talking too much about it because I don't think you can get this anymore uh, but I really do love it and I still have it I haven't decluttered it before I move on to the top most mini palettes which I love I want to show you this one from Pat McGrath since I talked about the Huda Beauty one which is not available. This is one of my favorite neutral palettes. This is from Pat McGrath. Sadly, this is also not available anymore but I just want to show you. I think she should bring back this palette. It's such a gorgeous palette. This is how this one looks like. Basically, it is filled with metallic or satin metallic kind of shades with a very nice deep brown which is excellent for deepening up the look. And there is a light shade as well for highlighting and it's just a perfect palette perfect balance of shades like a taupe a mauve a bronze uh, beautiful I mean the the variety of shades is what I always wear so I just love this palette so much just wanted to show you because this one I don't think you can get it anymore if you can get it you can definitely think about it if you are a neutral palette lover look at my palette it's like almost broke also but still i haven't decluttered it i use it a ton on uh, in my daily life okay moving on my top three mini palettes or mini neutral palettes and honestly if you just get any one of them from here i think you are good to go because these are very very handy little palettes uh two are from natasha denona so let me talk about these two first and the first one is camel this is the five pan palette which is the bigger five pan palette this is not the mini one this is a regular sized palette but has five shades love this one this has a nice brown right here and very very nice beige tones as well they may appear lighter they show up very well on my skin tone as well i just apply a little bit of this shade and a little bit of brown just to deepen up and you get the perfect beautiful everyday matte eye look so i really love the colors both of the shades actually work pretty well on my skin tone and then there is a beautiful coppery bronze kind of a color uh, which is like your everyday go-to shade you can wear this shade anytime so lovely combination and i've always loved this palette and i was very happy that i got it the next Natasha Denona palette is the mini glam palette. I don't have the mega glam, glam palette or the full size glam palette. I still don't know why. I still don't know. I just love that palette so much. Whenever I see it, I feel like buying it. Buy, but still, I haven't bought that till date. But I have the mini glam palette. It has a taste of the big size palette. There is a very, very nice cool toned uh, metallic shades. Uh, there are three metallic shades and two mattes same here as well the two matte shades really really beautiful work on my skin tone very nicely and the metallic shades are also really nice so if you also want a taste of the Biva palette you can check out consider this one the mini Biva palette this is also really good i have traveled with this one also a lot you can see this one i have almost broken this palette <laughs> i have traveled with this so much 
and one of my top favorites this one also actually i'm not very sure if you can buy it anymore this is the huda beauty wild jaguar palette this has like a purpley vibe to it but i still look at it as a pretty neutral cool toned kind of a palette i mean it has a pretty neutral vibe uh, just that there is that one purpley shade right here uh, this one i mean this one which has a very purpley tinge but if you do eye look with this palette they appear quite neutral so that's why i'm putting in this uh, video because i really like the tones of this palette they are really neutral and they look very very nice the range of the colors is very good there is a black also in the palette i love neutral eyeshadow palettes which have a black and there are a variety of different kind of shades these kind of shades are not available in this palette or this one so this is a like a very nice additional neutral palette which you can buy buy maybe a smaller one like this like this and buy this one you'll get a nice variety or probably pair it with this one you'll get a nice variety so yeah those are all the mini neutral palettes i have next let's look at the bigger eyeshadow palettes which i have which are not many <laughs> i have only three neutral eyeshadow palettes i'm telling you i don't really buy neutral eyeshadow palettes a ton i buy palettes which have a color story to them the color story has to be unique i very rarely buy neutral palettes because i have so many mini ones and that's mostly what i use but in my lifetime i have bought a few of them few i have decluttered so the first one which i will mention is a staple this is a very nice uh viseart palette this is a neutral matte palette if you want a totally matte eyeshadow palette this is a very very staple basic palette which i also carry with me most of the time a uh, very nice quality blends well range of colors if you have this palette you can just pair it up with any of the eyeshadow palettes you have so you have everything which you need in here it's like a makeup artist uh, dream so definitely recommend this one uh, this is one palette which i have neutral mattes and the other two neutral palettes which i have are these two this is the too faced uh, born this way and the abh sultry palette i will show you this one a little later the abh sultry palette i think you can't get this anymore i think i have done a video on this also i will leave it in the description box look at the packaging i haven't uh, decluttered any of my abh palettes i even have the what was that green palette called i forgot the name even i even have that so this is a sultry palette because of this sultry palette i didn't get the glam palette from natasha denona because the feel looks very very similar to me so this is the sultry palette beautiful palette very easy to work with mattes do have some fallout so you have to be a little bit careful but the tones the range of shades uh, mattes there are not too many matte shades in this palette like if you want a ton of matte shades range like this one there are not ton of matte shades but the metallic shades have a nice variety so if you're looking for different types of metallic shades which are neutral toned this has a nice variety and there is a pinky mauvey toned as well a silver the silver oh my god this silver looks so amazing i have done eye looks with this silver on our kind of skin tone silver looks so nice so definitely try out that and yeah there's a very nice wholesome palette if you are looking for very nice metallic shades uh, in neutral tones then this is your palette this is a very good one although i'm not sure if you can get this anymore please let me know in the comment section but this one i think you can still get this is the too faced born this way a palette this is the first one there have been few uh, other releases as well i think sunset way or, or sunset palette or sunrise palette and things like that but this is the first one which was the neutral nudes palette look at the packaging so so pretty i really like the packaging and this has everything it's a beautiful palette uh you get a ton of mattes very very nice mattes in here i wouldn't say this is like a totally neutral palette it's a little bit leaning towards cool like there are some pink mauvey toned palettes but overall i think it's still a pretty uh neutral toned palette it there is not like a too much warmth in it uh i love the color story the range of shades you get some 
uh, nudes some pinks some beige brown and here also the metallic shades the range is very very nice the metallic shades are also in like smaller uh, pans here the mats are in the bigger pans so you can you get a ton of mats if that's what you like so i i would say both this palette the sultry and this one the two faced one they are kind of different so here are both the palettes side by side you can see that sultry is a little bit more grungier the metallic shade especially more grungy and uh, two faced born this way just a more softer milder so if you are interested in both the palettes you can actually get both because i feel they are similar but still they are quite different from each other so this is the two faced uh, born this way the natural nudes palette which i use a ton and i really love the packaging it's so lightweight i love products like this this one is super bulky like it's quite bulky this one is very slim and lightweight love it this one also i'll highly recommend many people have complained about the metallic shades in this palette i don't know why uh, the texture is a little bit different for the metallic shades you have to like use your fingers and smoothen out uh, on your eyelids and then apply with a brush then you will get a much better application whereas the metallic shades in this one are much more smoother and softer you can use your brush at one go for the metallic shades in this one as well you will get a very nice even application with this one just that the metallic shades you have to work with your fingers a bit more than usual so that's about it i personally i haven't faced uh, much issues so that's my neutral eyeshadow palette collection i hope this was helpful if you have any questions on any of this neutral eyeshadow palettes then let me know i would love to answer your uh, queries i hope you like this video if you liked it then please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you're watching me for the first time i really hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again really soon in my next video. Bye.